well out in the beautiful market town of Richmond in North Yorkshire today and when I got this morning I had no intention of doing a video I had no intention of actually coming out at all but I got a, a, an email this morning from one of my subscribers who was actually holidaying last week in North Yorkshire and had an overnight stay last week in Richmond they stopped at one of the hotels in Richmond he said to his wife did you have a good night's sleep she said well the bed was very very comfortable but I was constantly getting woken up in the middle of the night by the sound of drums something they mentioned when they went down for breakfast and one of the locals then mentioned to them the horrific story of the young Richmond drummer boy so he contacted me and asked if I knew anything about it because Richmond for us is only about 14 15 miles away so it's a place we come to regular I thought what we'd do today is we'd actually follow the exact route the Richmond drummer boy took before he vanished so the castle itself was built in 1086 the time of William the Conqueror and that's where the legend of the drummer boy actually takes place because in the 18th century there was a rumor that there was an underground that ran from the castle all the way down to Easby Abbey which is about a mile and a half away through Easby Wood now the soldiers that were based at the castle were really concerned about this because they thought the castle could well be compromised so a search of the castle was ordered and eventually right down in the dungeons a tunnel was actually found the entrance itself was very very small because over time it had caved in a bit so it was too small for a soldier to go down there so what they did they called on the regimental drummer boy now in the 18th century drummer boys were a common fact with an English army they were tended to be about 10 to 12 years old they were too young to fight so their job was to beat the drums when the army actually went into battle so they called for the regimental drummer boy and he was either coerced or volunteered to actually go down into the tunnel he was given his drum he was also given a candle and he was told to follow the tunnel and as he was going along use his drums and then soldiers above ground would actually follow where he's going and see if indeed it actually did go to Eastby Abbey so the soldiers above ground were listening for the drummer boy beating his drum and as they walked underground they were following him and mapping out exactly where he went so from the castle he went across the marketplace so from the castle the little drummer boy walked across the marketplace with the soldiers above ground listening to the sound of his drums from the marketplace he then walked down towards the river swale up there you've got the castle and the marketplace and this is where the sound of the drums took the soldiers above ground all the way down here from here they went a walk towards Easby Wood which is where we are going next so we can still hear the sound of the river and we are just walking alongside the river and this is the exact route that the young drummer boy took now can you imagine walking underground by yourself in pitch darkness with only a candle and your drum to keep you company I mean, how horrendous must that have been for him but either way he kept on drumming and he kept on following the tunnel which headed to Easby Wood
so modern day Richmond but as we walk down here we're starting to enter Easeby Wood so as you can see we're still following the river which goes all the way down to Easeby Abbey and it's this point that the tale for the Richmond Drummer Boy gets really horrific so you can see where we started from the castle from the castle down the marketplace down towards the river swell and then follow them all the way around as soon as the drummer boy came into Easeby Woods the drumming all of a sudden became very very loud but then came to an abrupt stop no more drumming and the little drummer boy was never seen again so what happened to him did the tunnel come to an end did it collapse on top of him did he get lost did his candle burn out so you would have thought that the soldiers would have went back to the castle dug out the entrance to the tunnel went down and trying to find the poor lad but unfortunately they were all terrified they thought that the little lad had met some sort of beast from hell and been devoured so none of them dared to go down but the soldiers that had been following the little drummer boy above ground they all said the same thing they were following the sound of the drums but just before the drums stopped they became very very loud almost as if he'd walked into a giant underground cavern they all heard it the drums then stopped but what the soldiers also heard was the sound of two voices both of them whispering that when the young drum boy walked into the cavern playing his drums he came across King Arthur and his army all sleeping soundly one of the knights woke up and asked the drummer boy is England in danger to which the drummer boy replied no so the knight said to the drummer boy there's no need to waken King Arthur so he then went back to sleep before he did he asked the drummer boy to join him which he did so the Richmond drummer boy is not actually dead at all he's just sleeping with King Arthur and the other knights of the round table waiting for a time England is in danger when King Arthur will awake with his army the army will again go into battle and the Richmond drummer boy will again beat his drums now there's also a lot of locals that also believe the little Richmond drummer boy is still alive having said that their version is a lot more horrific because in Richmond you have a lot of hotels that offer overnight accommodation and just like my subscriber and his wife found when you go to sleep on a night time sometimes you have a very disturbed night's sleep as a lot of the locals will tell you and when they ask did you have a good night's sleep some will turn around and say I couldn't get to sleep at all all I could hear all the time was in the distance the sound of drums it's at that point the locals will just give each other a known smile because they'll know exactly what it is it's the sound of that 10 year old Richmond drummer boy still alive still underground still beating his drums in total darkness desperately trying to find a way back to the surface so behind me is the actual spot where the drummer boy stopped beating these drums 
There's a plaque there in memory to him. We'll have a look at that now. And the Drummer Boy Stone. According to legend, this stone marks the spot where the Richmond Drummer Boy reached in the tunnel led from a Richmond marketplace to Easby Abbey. Here the sound of the drumming ceased and he was never seen again. Now the Drummer Boy walk continues all the way down there to Easby Abbey and circles back around the River Swale all the way back to Richmond. Three mile loop starting at Richmond Station and it's an absolutely fantastic walk to do. So if ever you're in North Yorkshire, come down and do this walk. But also, Richmond is such a fascinating place as well. So in answer to the question, do I know anything about the legend of the Richmond Drummer Boy? That is the story. We've walked right from the castle. We've followed the route of the little Drummer Boy right to the spot where he's drumming stopped and he was never seen again if you've enjoyed the video i really would appreciate big thumbs up why not click on that subscribe button as well there's very few things in this world that are free click on the subscribe button is one of them i'll tell you something it won't be too long before i'm back out again cheers